when pressure begins to build called life because life is going to bring you ups and downs and mountains and valleys and I'm sure some of you in here your backstory is full of ups and downs and good days and bad days I bet some of you in here your backstory is full of a lot more difficulties and some traumas and some things it's hard for others to comprehend and for some of you, it hasn't been the roughest or the most difficult, but yet still at times, you still find this void of you wanting to belong and where do you fit in? Life is about these ups and these downs and it's about pressure and insecurities and just challenges. The challenge for you and me is what will we do with the pressure that we're in? Will we allow the pressure to bust the pipe or will we step into uncomfortable, step into our story and to realize the pressure, the challenge, the difficult situation, if I grab a hold of it and take control of what I can control, which is me and my reaction and how I respond, that pressure can become something valuable like a diamond. The only way you can turn the corner in your life is to own your smack. In other words, everything in your life is your fault. If you don't, you will underperform all your life because of these excuses. And before you know it, you would have justified being average. You would have justified being stuck I want you to look in the mirror, young kings and queens today. If you're growing up with nothing, and you're growing up with, without, I want you to look in the mirror and I want you to say these words. I want you to say that I am royalty. I am more of my generational curses. You're going to have to be phenomenal in everything you do because everyone in the world is chasing greatness. And what do you do when a man is going 100 miles per hour and you haven't even started the engine yet? The best gifts come from the bottom. I want to give our last name a legacy that will be remembered forever. See, this type of greatness I'm talking about, I'm talking about when I die, they can't even fit another body in the church. Because what I gave the world. The one thing that you must understand is that you don't get any do-overs. Once your day ends, that's it. So what action do you need to commit to taking today? How long are we going to talk about it? How long are we going to dream about it? How long are we going to fantasize about it? How long? You tell me. It takes grit, it takes sacrifice, it takes time and energy, it takes extreme focus. Go get it, go get it, go get it, go get it. I wanna be that voice for you to stop dreaming and start chasing, start pursuing, but most importantly, you gotta come. Everything I ever dreamed of lives in the sky and I must jump every single day to go reclaim what's mine. So I'm challenging you to take action with the resources that you have right now. You see, many of us believe that just because our father was a drug dealer and our uncle was a drug dealer, that that is our life and that is our forever. But I want you to know something. That is only a lesson to show us to be something more than what they thought we could be. You see, when a family tree is dying, all you have to do is take care of the roots. And if the roots is too dead to bring the tree back alive, you plant another one. Too often you have a dream of creating this or getting involved with there, but at the end of the day, sometimes this fear of will I fail, will I be accepted, will I make it, will I achieve it, the challenge is, is learning to punch that fear, that threshold right in its mouth, and I'm not promoting violence, but I'm talking about the fear of that voice in the back of your head that makes you think that you can't. And you know what? Maybe you'll make a mistake, but you're failing forward. The thing that we have to continue to passionately, uncompromisably not give in on is the fact that I'm not staying stagnant. I'm moving forward because what I feed will grow and what I starve will die.
We got a lot of lions out there in those neighborhoods. Drug dealers, killers, whatever you want to call yourself. And I want you to know, King, you special. You misguided, but you special. I know you grew up without a father and your mother left you and nobody ever loved you and nobody ever told you you can be anything and you believed it. But I want to tell you this, that you are phenomenal. You are a king. You come from royal blood. You stand on the tip top of pyramids. You are royalty, king. You are a light. You are a star. The question is, do you believe you are? And so for me, what I caught from my dad when I was a kid, it was his coping mechanisms, you know, like I always say, it was the fake face, it was the fake smile. It was acting like everything's good on the surface, but when I was alone and I was looking in the mirror, man, I was struggling, but I was silent. I was screaming, but I was quiet. And that thought pattern, pressure, begin to bust and break pipes in my life. See, pressure, like I always say, it can create diamonds or it can bust a pipe. I don't care what your salary is. I don't care what your title is. Dominate where you are right now so you can get in position to get promoted. Stop justifying. Stop making excuses and dominate where you are right now. You got to set goals that create pressure. Stop wasting your time making excuses and blaming other people. You need to set goals and pursue them, but you got to set goals and create pressure and get some support until you get there. And the worst thing you can do is let yourself off the hook. And that's what excuses do. You let yourself off the hook when you set a goal, when you have a dream, when you have a vision. Don't you ever let yourself off the hook. This means you got to work. This means you have to grind when they sleep. You got to grind when they woke. You got to grind when you do not feel like it. And it's in all areas in life. School, sports, your religion, consistency. It's the tunnel to greatness. Consistency will turn an ordinary man into something he never thought he can be. You know, my dad would say, go get it, son, go get it. Be sweet, baby, be sweet, go get it. Go get it, be sweet, baby, go get it. Go get it, be sweet, be sweet, baby. Go get it, go get it, be sweet, be sweet, baby. Every time I left the house, my mom would say, be sweet, baby, be sweet. My dad would say, go get it, son, go get it. Go get it, son, go get it, be sweet, go get it, be sweet, go get it, be sweet, go get it, be sweet. My family had two core values. Go get it, son. Be sweet, baby. Let the world know your name, King and Queen.